working in this place I worship you I worship you Hello boys and girls, I am Auntie Judith and I will be your teacher for today. Our unit title is The Holy Spirit and our lesson for today is entitled The Holy Spirit Lives in Us. Let's focus on these Bible readings, Acts chapter 3 verse 1 to 10 and Acts chapter 4 verse 8 to 12. It's video time. The video you're about to see tells us the story of Peter healing a lame beggar. And you will find this story in Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to verse 12 of chapter 4. Let's watch together. Peter and John were going to the temple one afternoon to pray when they saw a man who had never been able to walk in his whole life. Each day, the man sat at the temple gate begging people for money. Can you spare any money for a poor man who can't walk? I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I have something even better. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Peter helped the man stand up. As he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed. The man began walking, leaping, and praising God. When the people saw this, they were amazed. People of Israel, why are you so surprised? Why are you staring at us as though we did this all by ourselves? God did this so that everyone can know the power of His Son, Jesus. Many people believed what Peter and John said, and they decided to become followers of Jesus too. Some Jewish leaders became bothered by Peter and John's teaching. They arrested Peter and John and had them put in jail until morning. The next day, they brought Peter and John to a large group of the men who ruled the whole kingdom. Even the high priest was there. By what power or in whose name did you heal that man? Rulers and elders of our people, are you holding us captive and asking us these questions because we've healed a crippled man? Do you want to know how he was healed? Let me be clear. The powerful name of Jesus healed this man. You crucified Jesus, but God raised him from the dead. Believing in Jesus and following him is the only way to be saved. There is no other way. The rulers were amazed by Peter and John's boldness. They knew Peter and John had been with Jesus. And since everyone could see with their own eyes that the man who couldn't walk was now healed, there was nothing they could do. Still, they tried to find a way to stop Peter and John. Fine, we will let you go. But you aren't allowed to ever speak or teach about Jesus ever again. But Peter and John refused. Do you think God wants us to obey you rather than Him? <laughs> no way. We cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. The council tried to scare Peter and John into staying quiet about Jesus, but it didn't work. Finally, they let Peter and John go. They couldn't punish them without making the crowd angry. After all, everyone was praising God for healing a man who had never been able to walk. Wonderful. What have we learned? Let's recap. We have learned today that the Holy Spirit is God's Spirit who comes to live in us when we become Christians. We learn that the Holy Spirit has the mind of God, knows the will of God, knows God's feelings. We also learn that the Holy Spirit wants us to think the way God thinks, to desire what God desires, and to feel what God feels. Last week, we saw that Peter and the other disciples received the gift of the Holy Spirit. It was the Holy Spirit in Peter who enabled him to heal this layman. In the same way, the Holy Spirit lives in Christians, speaking to our hearts and helping us to do the things 
he wants us to do. The Holy Spirit gives Christians different gifts. Whatever our gifts are, we must be obedient to the teachings of the Holy Spirit in the way we think, speak, and act. When we are obedient to the Holy Spirit, God is pleased with us and people are blessed through us. Have you ever heard of the Trinity? The Holy Spirit forms part of the Trinity. The Trinity has three persons. One, God the Father. Two, God the Son or Jesus. And three, God the Holy Spirit. That is, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One, yet three, working together. This week's memory verse is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 from the New International Version. Do you not know that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? Let's reflect together. What can I do differently if I have the Holy Spirit living in me? Let's make a list of those things. Remember, you are not too young to receive the Holy Spirit. That's it for today, boys and girls. See you next week. Worship you. You are here, healing. Everything.